everyone welcome back to the channel today we're gonna go ahead and do a product review of the new 2022 bowman baseball mega boxes that's right you guys the new bowman baseball mega boxes i was able to find this as you guys could tell on the video or when you saw that little video clip in the beginning um over at a target and they had four of these in stock so I went ahead and purchased two. I'm going to rip one today and just kind of go over what you're able to pull out of it. It was $44.99. So $45 with tax a little bit around there in that sense. Um, wasn't too bad. $45. I know last year it was about five bucks more. I think it was $49.99. So not too shabby, not too bad. Um, we're going to go ahead and chase after the same prospects of course but this one of course is going to have the two packs that has the mojo parallels out of them you're able to pull autographs and you're able to pull number cards and redemption cards as well of course uh, my friend was able to open up the two that he got over there and he did pull a Laz uh, Lazar i think it was uh lazara montez uh so he did pull a pretty good autograph out of that so we'll see what we're able to pull out these we might not get a hit today on these just because we i don't know what the pull rates are when it comes to the bowman mega boxes but we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot but i do like the design of the boxes um it is a beautiful box i do like the design the colors and everything out of it um first place to uh first place to find games future stars and of course it doesn't really tell you um of course your odds and stuff i think you still have to go online to kind of see that let me get that focus right there so that's basically right there all of that yeah you're able to scan that so you can see what the odds are i wish they still had it on the box honestly i don't like the fact that you do it this way but yeah, let's go ahead and rip this up and uh, let's see what we're able to pull for, uh, for you guys today. Let's go ahead and get started here. Hopefully, he kept this pretty safe. I'm going to pull my chair a little bit closer here. Alright. Oh, I said 2022, huh? 2023. I don't know why I... So yes, this is a 2023, guys. Apologize about that. All right. So yeah, same variation right there. So these are the three packs or the four packs of um, just a regular Bowman paper I'm assuming and these are the mojos or here we're gonna go ahead and start with of course the paper oh dropping cards everywhere here in a moment all right Nolan Arenado, uh, Arenado, Gabriel Marino. So it feels exactly the same thing, same cards that you would get from the regular Bowman. Um, just a, a blaster boxes or retail packs. Jazz Shuram Jr., Freddie Freeman, Riley Green, James Wood, Brady House, Xavier Isaac, and a chrome of Kyle Harrison. And a Christian Hernandez. You can't pull number cards out of these. So anything we will pull number cards out of will be from the Mojos, of course. Jose Ramirez right there. Joey Votto. 
Matt Olson. Livion Salto for the rookie. Um, Brett Batty, not bad. Ballastoris um, in the first. Josue Di Paula, not bad, that's a good one. Uh, Kamar Rocker on the chrome. And a Jet Williams. Sten. Lavier Pereiro. Ivan Herrera. Corey Sager. Brandon Crawford. There we go. Junior um, Caminero. He's a good one. First prospect. Hector Rodriguez. Aponte on the first. Jordan Lawler. And Elijah Green. So the qualities on this is... Um, kind of shaky a little bit it's not bad but it's definitely off centered as you guys can tell right here so the chrome cards are off centered on this so quality wise it's not the greatest i don't know if there's some printing issues my friend had mentioned that he had issues too with his printing so the first run might be really kind of jacked up a little bit <laughs> jd martinez salvador perez Tavar on the rookie. Hunter Green. Um, okay. Uh, DL Hall, sorry, I pulled that right there to a little bit too soon. Andres Mesa on the first. Fernandez. Simon Juan. Oscar Cullis. And an Anthony Gonteras. So not too hot there. Of course, that's what that's not what you're really buying. Um the product for what you're really buying is for the mojo pack so let's see if we're able to get a little bit hotter when it comes to the mojo packs um but yeah get it hopefully we can pull something big for you guys that's not a bad one okay i'll take that gunner Har harrison on the, the rookies that's a beautiful card these cards are nice i do like them um riley green okay so we got good rookie um, mojo so far. September of Kamar Rocker. I do like the mojos. No first yet or anything. Jason Dominguez. And a first of Anthony Pergrero. So you only got one first Bowman there. So I don't know how I feel about that. We'll go ahead and sleeve this up. I do like it though. I do like the rookies that I was able to pull out that. That was not bad. Those guys you will want right there. Gunnar Hen Henderson. So that's really cool. I do like that. Let's see here. We did pull the Kamal Rocker September. We'll go ahead and sleeve that up. Jason Dominguez one is not all that great. I mean, he's a good one, but this is not the first prospect or a rookie card, so. Riley Green. That's pretty cool. I'll go ahead and. Let me go ahead and put that right there so you guys can see what we're able to pull. Go ahead and put that. Riley Green and Gunnar Henderson here. These all like dropped everywhere. My table is just packed up full of cards right now. Okay, to our last pack. Hopefully, we get some type of hit, maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? We do have some type of color, though. We definitely have some type of color. Francisco Lindor. It's on the second one, too. It's the first. Okay, nice. We did get some type of color. I'll take it. Um, out 225, Abris Tavares, shortstop, on the first Bowman. Nice. 15 Braves prospect. Really cool. That's a nice hit. And a Vaughn Grissom. That's pretty cool, too. Do you like that? And a Juan Soto, followed by a Pete Alonzo. So, 
Not too bad, we did get a hit out of it. Not the biggest hit, but we did get one. And we will take that. Let me go ahead and put this up. Go ahead, go ahead and sleeve up this Kyle Harrison. That wasn't too bad of a little pull either. Um, beautiful, beautiful cards. Um, the, the mojo is just is something else for sure. But let's go ahead and go over some of this stuff and just my perspective on it. Of course, our biggest hit's gonna be that Tavares shortstop for the Braves out of 225, 15 out of 225. That's a really cool card. Um, Devon Grissom is pretty dope. The Chrome of Devon Grissom. Um, Anthony Pereira on the first. Gunnar Henderson rookies. And the Raleigh Green. So you, you probably could pull number cards of these too. So these, these mega boxes are gonna be pretty fun to open up for sure and then we got the Kamara rocker on the september but for the price of 45 it's still a pretty big gamble you guys not gonna lie but at this point in the stage since this is a new product um i would go for the mega boxes at this point now like i know that when it comes to the first runs you get better luck out of the products on the first runs at least based on my experience so I would actually stay away from a lot of blasters at the moment and such. Um, if you haven't had really much luck on it, it's probably not going to get any better just because they're printing a lot of it and getting closer to the last run of it. You're probably getting the last of like the blaster boxes and who knows what is in there. Uh, I know for a fact when it comes to the mega boxes, this is fairly new that's hitting to its doors. I would open these if you're trying to pull a big prospect card just because you have a better chance at it at this point. Um, as you as you know already, so I pulled a, a color card. My friend pulled um, an autograph out of his. So out of those four boxes, you got basically those, those chances right there, which is not bad. So pretty, pretty cool stuff. I'm very happy with this. Um, not too bad, not too shabby. I probably made close back to my money with the Riley Green, the Gunnar Henderson and such. So it wasn't too bad. I wish we could have pulled a better prospect card. Um, but even pulling a number card like this is is pretty, pretty, I consider that a win, I would say. So um, quality wise, the quality of the cards weren't all that great. There was some um, printing issues. Of course, the colored ones, the Mojo Packs didn't have any issues but the other ones did. They were kind of off-centered. Um, I would give this product prob possibly at the price of 45, which is not too shabby. It used to be about 40. It used to be cheaper than that in the past. Um, I would say I would give it an eight out of 10, but if you guys see this and you're able to find it, I would definitely purchase a few and, and give your uh, luck a try on it and see if you're able to pull something pretty big. But that's my, basically my review on it. I would give it an eight out of 10. Pricing is pretty decent, not too bad. 45 is a lot better than last year. There is some quality issues with it for sure, but the Mojo Pack seem like they're not, um, I would say they're not, basically it doesn't affect the Mojo Packs. So that's a good thing and that's what you're really purchasing it for. I would say the hit potential is still pretty high because you definitely could pull on card autos like my friend was able to pull one. So the ceiling is high on the product. So there's that. So the quality, uh, everything else, I would say, yeah, eight out of ten is probably eight out of ten is probably um, pretty fair for this product. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys got some luck out there. Hopefully you guys find us out in the wild, and hopefully you have better luck than me today. But uh, like I said, always collect what you love, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.